The goal of the Ergo Cup competition is to recognize the ergonomic innovations of our employees. There are five criteria for winning entries. In the engineering category, the four winning projects showcase excellent equipment or tool redesigns from the people who use them. In first place, from the Bellevue, Ohio Lake Division, is Tim Porter and a tie panel jig. Previously, a backhoe laid ties close to where they were needed. Ties were frequently off by an inch or two, and employees would have to manually move the ties over to the correct position. Using the tie jig as a template, 39 track panels can be laid in about 10 minutes. The efficiency with using the jig, um, you don't have to have the guys there lining the ties up and spacing them out. You just uh, set the jig down, you drop the ties in and keep going. Tim Porter's a heavy equipment operator at Bellevue. As Bellevue completed a historic expansion this past year, this new fixture helped get it done on time. In the mechanical department, the majority of entries dramatically improved the long-term injury rate and the comfort for our employee. In the division shops, first place goes to Brad Duncan of Knoxville's Severe Yard for developing an automatic lube system on the repair track rabbit system. Doing it the old way, employees had to climb six towers, each 20 feet tall, to grease bearings, wheels, and jacks of the car pulling system. Also, they'd have to remove the heavy steel plates covering the jacks and sheave wheels. Now, a machinist can flip a switch to evenly grease all the necessary parts through a system of ear valves and switches. No climbing, no heavy lifting. We had eight or nine hours total that we had to shut the rip track down with lockout tag out, which was leaving them idled while we was doing our maintenance work. Brad saw a need to improve the way the lubrication was done on the car pulling system. He went out and put together an automated system that greatly improved the safety and the ergonomics of this job and also made it a quicker job to complete. In the system shops, winners also showed off their impressive innovative skills. The champion team is James Snavely, Aaron LaFon, and Reggie Jones of Schaefer's Crossing. In the past, changing damaged ring gears meant poor body position, all while handling the 80-pound ring gear section. The team collaboratively designed a manipulator that attaches to the overhead crane to move and install three-piece ring gears. It uses a hydraulic cylinder for precise alignment. Uh, what I noticed that it had to be a, a easier way on the men's body positioning to get that ring gear in and out of that locomotive. The iron hand is a tool we already had for changing other parts. What I made was an adapter for the iron hand that would hold the ring gear. And no longer does the employee have to pick up or try to manipulate the 80 pound piece. Reduce pinch points, it's better all the way around. The employees at Schaefer's Crossing Locomotive are very proactive in their safety and ergonomic efforts. They tested and built a device that helped move the ring gear and significantly improved the safety and the ergonomics of that task. Congratulations to all our 2014 Ergo Cup winners.